Hi, Quadcopter101 here with another review of the HJ818 Pathfinder. Um, it's a little bit breezy today. Uh, I still haven't come up with a good way to mount my 808 keychain camera to this. So today again, I'm going to again test the uh, range of this uh, quadcopter. I did an initial test yesterday out in the desert. Um, it looked like it was about uh, 50, 60 yards or 60 meters. I want to confirm that today. Actually, I'm going to try to send it as far out as I can upwind here. Um, if I run into problems in the wind, you know, if I lose uh, connection with the transmitter, the wind should blow it back to me. So I'm going to use this area here. I got a better idea of the range out here, um, estimate of the range ba based on previous flights I've done out here. So let's go into a flight. I'm just going to turn it on, the Pathfinder. Again, my, this comes in uh, three different versions. Uh, one without the camera, which I got here. I'm going to use my own 808 camera, was the intent. And two other versions with a 0.3 megapixel camera and a 2 megapixel camera. Uh, I'm going to activate the transmitter. Binding it. I'm going to go to high rate. Yeah, high rate is that one. Uh, this will, I also want to try out flips today. That's the flip button there. So let's go into a flight. Let's go upwind and also gain some altitude again so that the altitude and the upwind will help me uh, in case I lose contact with the transmitter. Okay, I'm out at about 50 meters now. A little bit higher. About 60 meters. Seventy. Okay. 70 meters <laughs> and the wind's blowing it back I don't know what that was that's only 50 meters away let's go out there and see what something looks like it came off hope it's nothing important <sighs> so the range on this is about 70 meters It's not very impressive in my opinion, but as with all of these toy transmitters, they can be modified, and I guess I will be doing that in the future here for this to show to use get more uh, better range on it. Uh, Seventy, you know, the range that I was getting, I guess, is good for beginners. No problem there. Seventy meters is more than some, sufficient. It's about the same as uh, flying a CMAX 5C <laughs> base model unmodified. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do next, let's, let's try out some flips. Okay, I'm going to rebind the transmitter. One thing real quick, always, especially after having a little crack up, always, always check your props. Okay, now I'm going to try out uh, doing flips, and I'm going to not go out past uh, 60 meters or so. Okay, I'm in beginner mode. Let's do a flip. <laughs> Let's go upwind a little bit more and try that again. Left flip. How about I wonder why it remembered the flip. Okay, can do flips. I'm not into flipping. Again, this bird, I'm intending to put an 808 on it. I need to get better range though. The eight, you know, that um, 50 to 70 meter range is not sufficient for aerial video in my opinion. So uh, I am going to modify this transmitter. <laughs> That's the first thing I'm gonna do. But uh, let's just show you it flying around. Again, let's look at, uh, let's go to high and look at its yaw rate. 
There's the full yaw rated high. Okay, let's go upwind a bit and try funnels. Well, not a spectacular funnel there. Again, it looks like it's more, this was more intended and more built for aerial video. Again, it comes with two other versions with the camera. But to be a useful aerial bit, video bird, it, it has to get more range than what it's getting. And I will, I will be modifying it here shortly. <laughs> I'll get into this transmitter, open it up and take a look. But in the meantime, let's just fly it around, let's get a feel for it, and also keep my controller in view so you can see what I'm doing here. And also I want to see what type of flight time we can get out of this battery. I think that's what kind of flight time it's starting to get weak starting to get weak although it's not the LVC is not flashing yet send it back up again when it gets up when you get a breeze with this thing, I think those six blades um, serve as like a sail. <laughs> I'm having, you know, if you get a strong breeze, it kind of pushes down on the quadcopter when you're going into it. I'm just going to walk with it. <laughs> okay, the battery's still going. But again, you know, if a breeze comes up, it pushes down on it if you're flying into it. So you got to be aware of that. It's not as powerful as you might think. It's probably because the... the uh, Energy is being distributed amongst those six motors. Maybe with a higher C rate battery. I think it's only like a uh, 25 C. I don't know. I'll, I'll open it up after it lands here. After it's done flying today. But I, I think for this thing to really be more effective in flying you know I'm just the power on it you th you'd assume this would have a lot of power and it just doesn't seem to have it it's kind of sluggish especially in vertical acceleration but for 40 I think it's 47 dollars retail without the camera you know it's <laughs> it's something different, certainly. Okay, the LVC is now flashing. Let's bring it in. Yeah, there we go. So, let me open up that, this case and show you the batteries inside this thing. Just don't drop. <laughs> okay, turning it off, opening up the battery case, push from the back, forward. Okay, I labeled it because this battery is similar to many of my other uh, quadcopter batteries lately. Uh, it's a little 650 milliampere hour, 3.7 volt, 
really doesn't say what the uh, C rating is on it. So I'm, I'm assuming it's, it's probably about 20, something like that. So, uh, you know, again, if there is such a thing, <laughs> a 30, 30 C battery, uh, something that can give, what I'm saying is, this particular battery, uh, the, the draw for the six motors um, limits the amount of amperage that can go to those six motors. Uh, you need something with a little more uh, ability to distribute higher amperage over these six motors, and I don't think this battery is capable of doing that. That's why we're not seeing uh, super acceleration of this thing in vertical flight, uh, and um, just kind of sluggish feeling in the flight. Okay. But anyways, this is Quadcopter 101 uh, signing out. This is my initial impressions of this Quadcopter. I'll be doing more flights with it, um, getting, giving you some more thoughts on the overall uh, capabilities of it. Uh, and again, I want to try it with a camera. Uh, I'll come up with a, a mouth for this eventually. So this is Quadcopter 101 signing out with the HJ818 Pathfinder.